Like yeah. with Asmongold, he gets to play the character of a sweaty gamer. I, I swear, I swear it's a character. I'm, I swear. I like how people always think that it's completely a character. It's like there's no way that a person like me could exist. And, and honestly, I don't blame them. Alrighty. What it's like to be famous. Yeah, I know all about this. Pause the music. Gentlemen. Are you ready? I remember when I was a kid, and my absolute fucking hero wasn't this guy or this guy. It was some middle-aged man screaming at Minecraft. Boom. Ah! And as I got older, it I grew weird, out of it. It is weird, isn't it? And started watching middle-aged men play World of Warcraft instead. Yeah. Ah! And then I started watching Minecraft YouTubers again, because it's 2021, right? Despite True. my viewing habits staying pretty much the same, what has changed is my perspective on this site. Dude, me what is it about Minecraft that just really gets people that really gets people into it. Yeah, wh what is it? Is it just like younger people? Like it's fun, it's chill? I, I don't know, it's just easy. I don't know, it it's just crazy to see like the amount of viewership and the people that are really interested in, in watching it. That's insane, man. Being a kid that would stan YouTubers and look at yeah. my sub box every five minutes for just another drop of serotonin. Uh -huh. To being famous, baby! <laughs> Chapter yeah. one, pain. Ooh. Just kidding, chapter one, That's how it all it began. I've been obsessed with YouTube since the 2010s as a Minecraft gamer kid. Mm -hmm. And honestly, Ooh. looking back on it, most of it I'm was sorry. pretty cringe. Yeah, but I'm I have so to sorry. admit, there was a certain That's charm to good. it all. Like a macaroni picture frame you made as a kid. Mm -hmm. It's not good, but it's, you know, it's love. It is pure, what it pure is. Pure love. This, this is love. Yeah. Barely edited let's plays of guys just playing a game for 20 minutes. Content that people poured their souls into was so yep. much rarer. I mean, of course, they're not getting paid for it. And sure, that definitely still exists. But even what you might consider to be lower for content today yep. have editors and marketers that make it their full-time job. And it's for a good cause, because I do find myself gobbling up Pokemon Among Us videos like a rabid dog. <laughs> but somehow, despite- Jesus Christ, what is this? Oh my god! So yeah, I mean, like, these videos, here's the thing, is like, making high-quality, well-produced videos, unless you like doing it, you shouldn't do it. Like, unless you, you want to do it, you shouldn't do it. Because you won't make the money back, probably, and it's way more like, uh, you make more money if you just make regular videos that are lower quality. That's just the truth that people grew attached to channels and yep. the content. Certain creators damn near defined my roots in areas of life and video games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the early days of exploring Dunmoreau's icy hills. Your first night in Minecraft. Dying okay. to a skull level mob and not being able to find your body so you delete yeah. your character and make a new one. It's, it's right. rose tinted and that's completely fine. Yeah. That shit goes hand in hand with watching Gwau Crandor or Nixium's mm -hmm. Machinimas. Or watching your first Swifty video where you roll a warrior and try out a one shot macro that yep. totally doesn't work because the right. video came out like three expansions ago. <laughs> Free Swifty 2021! Oh and the same God, goes for any- dude. Like, I- Dude, Swifty was such a fucking legend. You guys have no idea. Like, if you didn't play WoW back in 2011, you really have no idea. Like, WoW in 2011 is like Minecraft is now. Like, everybody was talking about the game. Everybody was playing the game. All of the most popular creators were all WoW players. And it was fucking amazing. Absolutely fucking amazing. Like, they would bring out a video, like Athene would bring out a video, a Swifty would bring out a video. Dude, people would be talking about it. It's like, yeah, it was so fucking badass. Yeah, Dara McTire, exactly. Game. I'm sure you can think of some creator that fits the bill in your mind. Yeah. Watching Soda Poppin kill a DK with a hundred yep. level one mages I this. adds to the world. It adds to the game. Yep. It makes you realize, holy shit, what, what else is possible in this? <laughs> watch it. That DK sucked game and it's all because someone yeah. chose to share their experience i probably wouldn't love wow as much as i do if i didn't spend hours watching novel even i watched that to understand video. the law because seriously i'm not gonna read a fucking book about wow i want to mm -hmm. i want to get some pussy in my life like i wouldn't love minecraft i wouldn't love tf2 come to think of it i probably wouldn't have even played half these uh -huh. games if it wasn't for videos on youtube that's true i swear i'm trying to make youtube sound like a good thing by the way and that's part of why i even make videos i want to make things that people can look at in five yeah. years and be like hey bro do you remember Pint? Oh yeah, yeah. That's a that's a typical WoW player. Uh, it makes sense. Yeah, about the it's you know pretty much typical WoW player. And uh, look, 
I think that's one of the best things is like I can go back and watch some of my old videos that I actually thought were good videos and not just, you know, the weekly complaining rune, but, uh, you know, like a an actual really good video or something really funny that I did on stream. And I'll go back like a year later or two years later and see that again, and I'll still feel really good about it. Oh, yeah, that was before the incident. Mm hmm. To think that I have been the reason that people picked up WoW. I'm so sorry. I remember the yeah. early days of just trying to figure out what content I was going to make. Honestly, I think for a solid year, I had no clear directions on what my videos would even be about. But you know, that's super normal. And honestly, every creator I've spoken to is either going through that or has been through it. But eventually, yeah, I figured so. the best true. content I could make wouldn't be some big chungus meme perfectly optimized for Reddit updates. It would be two things. That's exactly what his videos were, number one. His videos are that. But, like, the thing is, they're quality. The thing is, Reddit, the memes, the videos were memes. Like, his videos turned into memes, which is the best thing to have happen. I want to make videos as good as possible, and I want yeah. to put myself in my videos rather than being some nameless editor making shit that anyone could make. Exactly. It is called YouTube, after all. Oh, the you. For me, it's all about making YouTube. my content as good as I can make it. Yeah. And I think good content can inspire more than love for a game. I'd have never made 10,000 Hours of Mage without uh -huh. Barney's classic WoW videos. Exactly. Now she follows me on Twitter. <laughs> as well as a few other creators who inspired me. Let's see, Uber Danger, Captain... What, what about me? What about me? What, 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 what about me? Man, dude, what the fuck, man? Fuck, man. Fuck. Who don't follow me on Twitter? And where would I be without them? Uh -huh. Probably outside, talking to women Ooh. and working a stable job. Not good. The horror. These yeah. are the kinds of videos that you remember okay. after a year. You will remember this video probably way longer than, you know, Bill's update on Shadowlands. You know true. what I mean? Like, these are the videos Very that are true. timeless to tell a story, and I think we should promote that and Absolutely. we should uh, give that some support. Very true. So that's why I like to make long-form story-based content, even yep. though it's not, you know, the easiest. And I, I true myself all the time, right? Because, like, it's the same reason why I like my own tweets. Why would I post it if I didn't like it? I mean, like, why would I do that? I mean, yeah, it, that's conf that's not yeah, that's not being an asshole. That's that's confidence. That's that's perseverance. That's uh uh fucking direction. Oh, pint. Why didn't why why do you want to make long form story content? Yeah. Why don't you just make Minecraft highlight videos Smart. and put dream in the thumbnail? Well, that's a very good question. Voice in the back of my fucking head. Leave me alone! Even though that kind of content isn't always the best financially, there's more to creation than shilling for the most money possible. But, yeah. I think that it's but, diminishing okay, to say that easy to produce content here is always vapid and money grabbing. A lot of it can still be valuable, and there's always those that use that style of content for, phila for philanthropy. Also, like, I respect the grind, bro. Get that paper, you know? It's genuinely yeah. difficult to upload daily videos of almost any kind of content. Or even difficult to upload every... Eh, too it's much. actually not. Um, what you have to do is you have a Twitch channel. And you literally just have editors that just randomly post videos of you. And uh, listen, making good content, that's why I always do... Uh, I always do promote anytime somebody who makes irregular content makes a video. And it's like a good video. I try to promote that video as much as I can because I know the... The struggle. Three, uh... That said, it doesn't need to be a single huge video. It could be a series, yep. a style of comedy, or a specific person that defines a portion of not only how you oh. view a game or a community, but parts of your life. When I think of Jerma, I don't really think of one big video, even though he's had them. I think of him as a person consistently over time. I'm proud of the parasocial relationship I have with this man. <laughs> At time. Rage- I all- <laughs> I, I always, I always hear good things about Jerma. I've never watched him before, but I hear a lot of good things about him. Uh, all right, let's let's hear. Uh, speaking about uh, about good things, uh, let's hear about uh, Ra Raid Shadow Legends. Shadow Legends. 
Happy birthday to Raid. It's their second anniversary. Incredible. It's still going strong and doing better than- Look at those titties. Oh my god. Never. You know, it's kind of my anniversary too. Say hello to my wife. We're in love. My favorite way to pass time is Should've to do dungeons with, with her and watch as she crushes our enemies. Yeah. Everything's fun with her. She's my wife, by the way. Out of the over uh -huh. 300 characters to collect, she's the one for me. You know, like, what's really funny about this is the fact that in, like, these types of games, I don't doubt that there's probably some sort of marriage system where you can actually... I'll turn it off and on again. Don't worry about it. Uh, there's, like, a lot of these games where, like, you can marry your video game characters, and that is weird. I think that's weird. Like, you shouldn't be able to marry your video. That's, that, it's weird, isn't it? That is, it, like, I remember that had that in Fable where you could marry this, like, blonde girl with fucking huge ass titties. And I, uh, actually, I like that game a lot now. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm kind of seeing someone. What? Yeah. People always ask me two things. If you could date any champion in the game, who would it be and why? So, yeah, it's gotta be okay. Elaine. Uh, we've known each other for like two years now. Smart. She's, uh, she's, take, she's taking the kids. If you could be any nice. champion in the game, who would you be and why? So, yeah, it's gotta be Elaine. And with six weeks of unique a events girl. running until the middle of April, a clan vs clan tournament, hopefully custody of my children, and the first ever character in the Shadowkin faction. Wow. It's a great time to give Raid a try. Click my link down below or scan the QR code to get a free epic champion but Jotun, 100k silver, 50 gems, crazy. 3 ancient shards, and a court hearing with Elaine and the kids. All of this will be waiting for you here only for the next 30 days. I genuinely go. couldn't make this kind of content without the help of Raid, so thanks to them, add over. Chapter 2. I hope you guys, um... Y'all need to know that like content like this, like good good content like this, would not be possible if you if they didn't uh, have the ads in there, right? Like nobody would make it if they couldn't put ads in there and make money off of it. That's the reality. So I, I know sometimes people complain about that or whatever. Um, it, it, it's like you get what you pay for, and if you want to have like low quality, you know, fucking content, then yeah, sure, don't worry about it. But I think that honestly ads in YouTube videos like this are completely fine. And I genuinely think that the people that complain about them are morons. I, I think they're just morons because you can just click ahead if you don't like it, you know? It's not like on TV where they like they pause it and you can't do anything. Like in a way, this sounds funny, but um on Twitch, it's worse than on this. This is worse, this is better than on Twitch because on Twitch it interrupts your content. This you just click forward. You don't lose any content. Ooh, character. The character that people play has always been interesting to oh. me. Some YouTubers opting to be as authentic as possible, yeah. and some purposely playing a character. Most people tend to mix a portion of their real self with a portion of a character that they've created. That's accurate. For example, Asmongold, who I am clearly simping over in this video. He's mostly known for his twist. That's actually a really good point. Um, the fact is that, like, I am really, uh, I, I, I think I, this is probably the best part of the video because it's where I'm about, right? Uh, yeah, this is it, and I actually, remember what I was saying? Yo, wait a, wait a minute, yeah, remember what I was saying about male streamers having more simps than female streamers? Boom, right here, one and done, right there. I told you guys, same shirt. No. -uh streams and for making the YouTube algorithm his fucking bitch. And who could forget such wise and inspiring quotes such as Listen to me! I could suck a dick and it wouldn't be gay. But his second persona, <laughs> Zach Raw, is much more akin to his real self, where he honestly provides some intelligent insights on things like how to run a community. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, I'm a big fucking idiot, huh? Jeez, it's like once you put them together, it's just a bunch of stupid shit. You know, it's it's kind of bad. I'll, I'll do it again. All right, all right, all right. Quotes such as, Listen to me! Ah! I could suck a dick and it wouldn't be gay. But his second persona, Zach Raw, is much more akin yeah, to his real self. Days. Where he honestly provides some intelligent insights on things like how to run a community. I think this character is normal, and you can see it in yeah. a lot of places on the site. Hey guys, what is up? My name is Nixium, 
or for the sake of this video, you can call me Thomas. Like Jay Schlatt, who's known for his constant character and bits on his main channel, but on his second channel takes questions from fans yeah. like, I can't get over her. Should I tell my parents about my depression? I love, I love channels like this. I, I really always love channels where you just sit there and you're talking and it's just normal and real and raw. I like it when it's, I like it when it's raw and it feels, it's like two dudes that aren't wearing shirts that are talking to each other about their lives. Like there's nothing that's more fulfilling than that. Uh, now you guys don't even know if I'm wearing a shirt. How do I deal with this? I love it. Although he made the decision to stop uploading to his second channel, which I can respect because it's not for everyone to have their lives completely- because he started talking about Carson and people were fucking pissed off about that and people always try to f like, there's like a certain type of person that will always try to like figure you out. They're going to be like, they want to fucking get inside your head and be like, you know, oh, this is this a persona? Is this a real person? What do you mean by this? And they try to read into everything. They read way too much into things. They try to read you and see how you feel and shit and be like, oh, well, you know, I like the real you and not this persona. Like, I'm going to let you in on a secret, okay? I act like this in real life, too. I know it might be a surprise, but you know whenever I act like this in real life? is whenever I'm surrounded by all my fucking friends. And that's why I act like this now. Because I'm surrounded by all my fucking friends and it's you guys. That's fucking why. That's why I, I feel comfortable doing that. Obviously, you know, I'm not going to act like this. I, I go to the grocery store. I don't act like this. No, fuck no. But if I get to hang out with my friends and chill, hell yeah, I do. It's like two sides of a person. That's how I feel. It's an outlet for that type of person that I am. Farming parasocial relationships. Listen, people watch me. That It is what it is. Like, I, it's, it can be weird. Yeah, it can be weird. But like overall, I'm just a guy who plays video games. That's it. That's really, that's all it is. Be on display to anyone that wants to see. There, I talked about a Minecraft YouTuber now. Let me in, let me into the community, please. It makes it easier Smart. to be funny, and it makes it easier to disconnect at the end of the day. Like yeah. with Asmongold, he gets to play the character of a sweaty gamer. I, I swear, I swear it's a character, I'm, I swear. But he can interject with his real opinions where he sees fit. I like how people always think that it's completely a character. Like, it's completely a character. Oh, he doesn't actually not shower all day. Oh, he doesn't actually act like that. Oh, it's not actually like that. I genuinely feel like it's coping. You know, like, at a certain point, it's actually coping. Like, there's no way... It's like, there's no way that a person like me could exist. And honestly, I don't blame him. Like, it, it, does, it does seem like kind of uh, an anomaly. But yeah, like, people are like, well, how, how does he... You know, like, obviously streamers make good money. Why doesn't he care? Because I don't. No man, no one man could be this greasy. <laughs> no one man could be this nasty. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't mind these, like, these ads in videos. Because, like, if you don't like it, you can just click through it. And you... This is not a rerun, okay, guys? This is absolutely not a rerun. I've said this, I, I've said it before. Yeah, it, I just said that. Of course I did. Yeah, it's totally not a rerun. Basically, I have in my head, my dad does this too. Do you guys, my dad does this shit all the time. It's like, basically, it's like you have different cards. And my dad will be like, I remember back whenever we were in the swamp and I'm like, yeah. And then, uh, you know, you, sh you shot the snake and then you came home and you got drunk with your friend and then, uh, you had to drive home and you almost got pulled over. Right. It's like, yep, that story. Okay. Done. And like, I will know what story my dad is going to tell within like the first, like five words of him telling it. And I've actually started doing that. The creator does try. <laughs> I'll, I'll stop it. <laughs> <laughs> He's perfect. But I think I in recent years, people have really grown to require that authenticity. In yeah. a world populated by such brain dead marketing, it goes a long way. 
Listen yep. closely, corporations. I have the answer to all of your problems. How? How do we sell more Big Macs? Yeah. Okay. I think that feeds back into the good content. Actually, I'll give McDonald's a little bit of a secret, okay? You want to know how to sell a Big Mac? Make it taste better. It tastes like shit. Who the fuck wants to eat a bun in the middle of their hamburger? It's stupid. Like, that, they're terrible. Like, that's why people don't go to McDonald's. It's because the food sucks. It, it's not complicated. If you want people to buy your shit, make good shit. So false? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Dude, because even if you're making videos exclusively for clout or to ride the algorithm, yeah. it's got to be good enough for people to watch. And Bro. people can smell a lot of that shit as fake if there's no quality behind it. I think it's a spectrum, and everyone falls yeah. somewhere on it. Okay. On one end, you've got the people who are completely disconnected from the person they are and play 100% yep. a character. And then you have, like, vloggers that are really open. And, you know, people yep. can vary from, like, day to day or platform to platform. And I think with the rise of streaming and highlight videos, that's more true than ever. Here on YouTube, I can take the time to write a where, script. Where am I on the spectrum? Actually, don't answer that. It's gonna appear how I want you to perceive me. But on twitch.tv slash pint, I cannot hide who I truly am inside. And that makes the distinction between character and self a lot more important. You don't want to end up losing yourself in the character that you've become. Uh -huh. And I think because of that, there's a level of authenticity in most creators these days. That's definitely the appeal of contemporary media for me. Knowing that they're a real person as they- That's the best- the best part about this video is how many times I'm in the video. Like, I love it whenever other people talk about me in their videos. It's like, is that ego? Like, no, really, man, that's not an ego- Like, man, what the fuck, dude? Like, have you- are you really trying to say- Are- are, are you really trying to say that that's not gonna make you feel good? Baldo Escobar, shut up, man. What if they talk bad about you? Uh, uh, I copy strike it. <laughs> I don't know, like, I watch it, then I get mad about it. Like, that's the way it goes. That's really ego? I don't think that's, like, a bad thing, though. Dance for my amusement. And of course, if you're too much yeah. of a character, your audience might not relate to you or think you hold an opinion that you don't actually have, yeah. which can lead to dissonance between the creator and their community. Choo and if you're too authentic, they might get too attached. That feel when you get a gifted uh -oh. sub and he's like, Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, we're just fucking... <laughs> we're 400 subs away from us hitting 20,000 subs together. While everybody's fucking cheering each other on, fucking spamming gifted subs using their stimulus checks on a multi-fucking millionaire. <laughs> look, look here's, here's how I look at it. If people want to give me a sub, I love it. I appreciate it. Thank you. If not, it is what it is. People watch. That's all I ask. Just watch. Like, y'all got to remember this. And this is like a little bit of real talk. And I got to say this. If you're lonely out there and you're younger and you don't have a lot of money, please don't give it to a streamer. And don't go give it to a hooker either. Don't go give it to anybody who's paid to give you attention because it's fucking fake, man. It's fucking fake. It's not real. It's not going to fill the hole that's in you. Stop doing that. Don't do that. You donate to somebody, you like their content, you got money to spare, fine, fuck, who cares? It's five bucks. But if... If you say, sorry, I don't have more money to give, you should say, sorry, I don't have any money to give. Don't do that. Give me, give me feed pics. Yep. Obviously, there's no right answer, but either way you go, you're gonna have some kind of hurdles. Yep. Okay, sure. True. So you've got this balance true of character. Real, real what does true. that matter? Well, honestly, before I started doing YouTube, I looked at every creator like a yep. character from a TV show. But now I, now I see them as people. Ew. Disgusting. Absolutely. People. That ties into the roots on this channel of having no sense of personality or uniqueness outside of the meme edits. 
So I inject his character and personality into it at the same time. Absolutely. On YouTube, the line between my character and my own Jay, life is pretty well five. defined. Thank you for five the seconds. same character on Twitch can be fucking exhausting, and I've slowly been figuring out what's right for me. Yep. Figure out the boundaries of what you're okay with sharing. Like your face, or your relationship, yeah. or your credit card number, and there's three wacky little numbers on the back. <laughs> People are gonna hate you no matter what, especially, especially you. They will. Yes, you. <laughs> And realizing that yeah. is when a character stops being a defense mechanism and can start to be used as a tool for creation. Some people yeah. want to bring the world along with them to experience their life. And some people just want to get up on stage and make people happy. You get to That's decide me. how much you do of both. Chapter 3. Pain. Shit. But like, for real this time. <laughs> so, um, here's some bullshit. Yeah. People try and be my friend just for clout, or look up to me like some god. People are scared to be my friend because they think that I'll think that they're clout chasing me. I'm sc I, I- the thing is with me is like, this happens, but I never have been- that's never bothered me. Whenever I was- the whole time I've made YouTube videos, it's never bothered me if people do that or anything. Like, I grew up, uh, as like- I was like one of the older kids in the neighborhood, and I had a lot of younger kids that always looked up to me, and so like, in a way, I have like a very good mentality around that and I'm used to that kind of relationship because I've had it with a lot of, you know, younger people and, uh, you know, whenever I was a kid, right, we were kids, but I was one of the older kids and so they would look up to me and, you know, they would like, you know, want me to do stuff for them and, and shit like that and it, it, it's like it's normal for me, it doesn't bother me and what are they up to now? Are they little streamers? No, they're in little cells, a lot of them. <laughs> My mom, sometimes she's like, what's whoever doing? I'm like, I don't know, look them up. <laughs> look them up. <laughs> oh, there's a news article written about him from a few years ago. <laughs> Good role model, hey. <laughs> they didn't listen to everything, right? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't bother me, man. Like it, I I hope that um, a, a lot of my friends are kind of out of that that experience, but there's a few of them that are still clowning around. Get to contact or appreciate people that I admire in case they think that I'm clout chasing. Yeah. So if you're a creator, hit me up because I'm terrified of doing it. I, I live my entire life in my apartment, regardless of the pandemic. Smart. On, honestly, that one's not too bad, and I yeah. hate deadlines. So YouTube's pretty cool. It's yeah. a job that most people want, but unlike most jobs, you're faced with sort of a career mortality. As the chances are, sooner or later, almost all YouTube channels will die out. And that's where almost all the anxiety traces back to. The concept that their channel will die, their dreams will be crushed, yeah, true. and OnlyFans will be their only option. That's not too bad. I mean, I I'm a I'm a big I'm a big OnlyFans fan. I think OnlyFans is good. I I'm a I'm a I'm pro OnlyFans. But yeah, I think a lot of people do worry about that. And this is like a bit of a real talk conversation. Well, let's be honest, it's a real talk conversation. The fact is that, yeah, you worry about your channel dying. You worry about, you know, not, not hitting certain viewership numbers. You worry about uh, not getting to those points. And a few days ago, I thought to myself, I was that was like the gray hair fucking thing. I brought up three times today. I probably thought about it, 300. It's like, I cannot stress myself out anymore. Like, I'm not going to stress myself out anymore. Like, I'm only, I'm just going to try to be happy. And it, whatever happens, happens. And not to be outcome dependent. Just be me. Enjoy myself. Because at the end of the day, man, it doesn't matter how many fucking people are watching you. Especially once you get up to the, the higher viewership numbers. You're making money. You're having fun. And just keep being you. And also, like, I want to innovate my content. I want to do different things. Uh, like, this is one of them. And, like, the whole charity event thing. Like, I think this has gone really well. And also, uh, thanks, guys. Like, y'all have been amazing today. It's crazy. Like, thanks. 
So, let's take a creator that makes videos about a certain game. Okay. And then they decide that they don't want to play that game anymore. So Channel they're dead. left with an ultimatum. Leap into the void of hoping to fucking god your audience likes your new shit, or just yep. keep doing what works. Honestly, the answer is to just find a way to do both. But changing content is tricky, and it's usually met with resistance even if you do it well. Stir is an old yep. TF2 YouTuber, and he was faced with a lot of backlash when he tried to branch mm -hmm. out with his content, just because it wasn't TF2. Exactly. What kind of shit vid is this? You used to be gaming, what happened to you? <laughs> Sounds like I my mean, comments. Why spend that much time when that's not even what people yeah. want to watch? My philosophy was always, I'm going to make the next video I make better than the last video I made. And eventually I got really good at making videos because I always tried to step it up and make the next one a little bit better to yep. the point that eventually team fortress 2 live commentaries became shallow there's nothing there i could be so much yeah, more you already done nobody that. wanted me to be more exactly but perhaps the biggest sense of challenge sometimes people only want you to be one thing and uh that's okay sometimes like if you like being one thing like there's some people that are totally okay like let's say they love like, there's a lot of WoW streamers like this. They don't want to play any other game. They're fine just, like, getting a 1,000 viewers, making a living, and then being, yeah, T1 on the other side, right? T1 plays fucking League. Everybody's okay with it. And, uh, uh, but it does suck, right? And, like, this is, like, a definitely, it's hard to get any sympathy for this because it's, like, you have to be an established creator, and people are envious of that. So a lot of people are. Some people are. So it's hard to get people to see eye to eye with this because it is an enviable position. But the truth is, like, you have a lot of people out there who are, uh, you know, they feel like they're locked in place of doing one thing. And it, it's hard, man. It's fucking hard to do that. And I remember whenever I started watching videos on my stream and talking about, like, other stuff that isn't just World of Warcraft, I got a lot of people who were pissed off at me. And it was hard for me to deal with that. It was like the variety stuff and everything. But now I know, like, obviously, I've still, I don't, I'm not going to have like as many people like right now that watch me play like any random game than they would with WoW. But it'll never be like that if I don't keep trying. And the fact is that if I go and I look at my analytics, here's the truth is that if I go and I look at my analytics, anytime I do something new, I always get more followers than if I don't do something new than if I do the same thing. So whenever I do that new thing and I see a bunch of new people follow the stream, those are all people that believe in me doing that new thing. And just because everybody that you have doesn't like what you're doing, that doesn't mean that everybody that you will have won't like it. It's hard to, it's hard to balance being delusional and being realistic and having the self-confidence. It's a very hard balance between everything. And a mortality D &D will be is feeling an the need yeah. to constantly yeah, one-up yourself. As you try and make better yep. and better videos, eventually you hit a point where your standards are so high it hurts you. And even though there's yeah. things that you could do, you don't. Because it's not better than the last thing. Mm -hmm prevents you from trying new things or branching out in fear of not performing as well. Yeah. And eventually you back yourself into a corner where you end up doing nothing. Like taking a I break for two months. I always find myself coming back to the feeling of like, if I haven't posted the next big song or the next big video that I shouldn't post on social media. Yep. And then it snowballs into weeks and then weeks go by and I'm like, well, I haven't said anything in weeks. Now, now I can't come back. If you only complete the things that you yeah. know will be better than the last, it'll be things that have worked in the past. By taking risks, you can't guarantee your success, right? But if you True. never take risks, you're guaranteed to fail. And if you do fail, it's just YouTube, man. Make another video. Respecting that is the only way that you can sustain this shit long term. Yeah. And I think it's the only way to be happy. Because no one wants the same thing forever. You Unless don't. I don't. it's titties. This video took a long time to make, and it's different from my regular content. It is. For the first like 30 days or so, it was shit. This through the process of creating it, I formed these opinions and observations. I lived through the anxieties, I felt them, yes. and I dealt with them. Yes. And now here I am with a finished video. 
I hope you got as much out of it as I did, because I just made you watch a serious YouTube video. <laughs> you okay, idiot. back to the, the, the serious part. I don't want to end this video on a bad note, because now that you're seeing this, I'm not stuck antagonizing over what it could be. God damn I'm happy. it! I'm proud of what I made. As long as the stats are good. Hey guys, I put a lot of time and effort into these videos, so if you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that bussy. <laughs> if you want to support me more, check me out on Twitch. I'm Pint. Uh, I feel like I have a pretty good Twitch stream. I do like planned events. I have like a highlight channel. It's free to watch. Uh, I've been told I'm a cute boy. Ooh. Or a cute girl. Ooh. Also, I have a Discord and a Twitter, but only join those if you're a femboy or a goth mommy GF. Bye. Here's here what it is, dude. Is like, I think I really like the video. Number one is like, I'll give you an example of, uh, of this, right? This is my second channel that I, I make videos about. And it's like, sometimes I'll post a video and it won't do as well as my other videos, but I can almost guarantee you that every person that watched that video appreciated it. And sometimes you're not going to hit a huge audience or anything like that. But the audience that you do hit, oh, oh, it's only comparatively, right? This is like 400K. And this is a second channel too. Like this is uh, 200, and, like almost 200K, 125K, 300K, 250, 200, 200, 200, right? I mean, like there's a lot of these that have like close to a million even. Like this Baja Blast, the first time is almost a million views. It's a lot. And by the way, I want to say... um. I, I am about to do the next giveaway.